Uh, the Desert Knowledge CRC has got a project on sustainable desert settlements and as the core program leader we were looking for ways in which we can in encourage uh, people in our remote sites such as Birdsville to maintain the talk up about what makes their settlement strong. And a methodology that we came up with is to ask people in Birdsville to paint all those elements and the relationships in their town that keeps their um, settlement a viable and sustainable place to live. So what I did was I asked uh, our research leaders of our different sites such as um, Anne Inglemills on asking her can she approach the people and communities and put together a painting that we'll commission to help uh, raise the profile of desert knowledge research and keep the stories going while the researchers are not there. So this painting is in fact it, it was intended to provide a research method to collect information to help people express how their settlement works and to put it into a painting so that there's activity and consciousness about our work in the remote communities while we're not there. But I'm feeling it actually went more than that, didn't it, Anne? It, it, uh, it, uh, what happened after that? Well, I'll just take one step back from there. And um, when we first got to Birdsville, we asked Aboriginal people how we could link our research to something that was meaningful for them so that we could research together. And the first thing they said was, we want to make our culture more visible in this community. And out of that, the, the request for a painting came and people said they really wanted to paint traditional stories and their place and what the place means to them and that the place is so central to keeping community strong. So we began to take up paints and canvas and uh, the person who came with me, Colleen Wool, is an Aboriginal artist in her own right and she um, helped people get started. Jean had never painted before and uh, even though she was doing beautiful little drawings. So so um, people began to work together to, um, uh, Jean and Joyce began to work together on the painting. And from that, I think a whole kind of interest in um, make it, that making visible what they'd been doing sort of privately um, in terms of trying to sustain culture and trying to um, pass it on to children. And we included children in many of the painting sessions. So it set up a whole process of um, sustaining culture and working with culture and also keeping that very connected to the other people of the community, the non-Aboriginal people. So I think it set up a train of events that um, were greater than we had ever expected really. Hello, my name is Joyce Crombie and I'm the Wankangaroo Yalla Yandi, uh, Lower Southern Arundel people from the desert. I come from Birdsville. I was born in Birdsville and I live in Baduri, but I'm a virtual person. So. And we'd like to tell our story on our dream time, what's happening in the, um, back in the desert how we used to live years ago until now. So. The, um, the hands, it shows, letting out the spirits. These hands are the hands of our mother. These are the spirits, the um, eagle, and these are the um, our grand... grand uh, Grandfather, which are called witch doctor, which is in our language is Mumpur, uh, Mimpuri. Um, and from them, we go right up. So, we, this was our um, doctors. Now we've got the flying doctor, so it's in our day. So, so this is a grandmother, um, a father, mother. So, um, our dreaming is the swan, so that's connected to the, the spirits coming out. Uh, we've in them time we used to like walk the desert with no shoes on. So here we are walking up the desert. Now we're in our, in our day we've got shoes, our hats, <laughs> and with the, down here. We used to live in a humpy years ago. Now we got houses to live in. And our auntie was with lots of spear and this is my father and my brother. Uh, the transport over there is uh, oh, where it is. Oh this is what we used to live in before travelling before. And now we've got tourists coming coming to our area and the transport trucks 
to cart things for the road, to make the road. And our nephew drives that uh, truck. Um, the food. In our time, the Aboriginal people were work, worked on station, and we had. Um, this is where our people learned to ride and that. They did, did the branding like nowadays, like the with the white people. Should I say that? Yeah. Um, and the food we ate was um, witchetty grub. Uh, damper was ma made from nardoos. It was crushed and grind on the grinding stone down here. That's the grinding stone. Uh, from the damper, now we have bread. Eat nowadays. See, you can do the rest. You can do the fruit. Uh, with berries. The berries, we've got fruit, a watermelon. Uh, where else? Oh, the, yeah, the cucumber that goes with the melon. Um, these, these signs are our brands, uh, cattle brands, of around virtual areas. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's the saddler's knife. This is the frying pan. Um, but the brands are. Uh, w Diamond B, uh, B17. This this is the call sign that they used to use back in them days. The 90 end. That's the Alton Down station. This little hutty is where I was born. Uh, parents, we lived out there, and um, the brothers that learned um, how to um, do cattle work. Uh, um, what else is there? This is our, some of our meat, our food, like the, the meat area, the protein, the kangaroo and uh, the emu, the galah, the uh, goanna, turkey, the um, bush turkeys, you know, fish. This tree here, we've got some birdsville, this is one of the wadi trees. That's a sacred site for us at Birdsville. Um, uh, it's um, a dream for us. Uh, bush medicine trees up here. The tobacco bush and the wattle bush. And the fish, that's uh, the yellow belly. It's what we catch in the Georgian and the Diamantina. Um, and that's um, food for us. Uh, this is with the uh, spiritual part of our uh, culture. It's um, the, the eagle. It's the spirits coming out of uh, out of mo our mother's hand. Uh, we've we've from there to the traditional land, and then out to where we are we live today. So, yeah. um, look after the land. Love it as we. Um I uh, love everything else, I suppose, just like our parents. We've got to look after it, because if we don't protect the land, um, well, we'll all die, really, because there's no food for us or the cattle. So that's our, that's our reckon, that's our sustainability, is to make sure we look after everything.